Absolutely, and I know we've had frequent conversations with the Whelan family. Jen, you've spoken to David multiple times before, but in this latest interview, you could really tell how defeated they feel using words like abandon. The family says they have no strategy on how to bring Paul back home, and they're actually going to step back communications with federal and state leaders because they feel like it's a waste of time. For 1,571 days, Paul Whelan has been detained in Russia, arrested in 2018 and charged with espionage in 2020. His spirits, according to his family, remained optimistic that the U.S. government, who declared he was wrongfully detained, would set him free. But that confidence is cracking. Unfortunately, he may have to survive for 16 years, the entirety of the sentence, and we hope that that's not the case. Paul Whelan's brother, David, telling ABC News, Paul feels abandoned in their frustrations extending not only to the White House, but Michigan leaders, stating in a letter that his sister Elizabeth, who regularly speaks with the State Department, will take a step back because they're wasting her time. She's finding that there, there aren't fruitful outcomes to the discussions that they've been having. We're, we don't get the sense that there are creative strategies being brought to bear. The letter also expounds on their feelings that the government puts a priority on prisoners with notoriety. WNBA star Brittany Griner famously released from Russian detention late last year after serving a fraction of Whelan's sentence. The Biden administration responding, saying, quote, Since the earliest days of the administration, we have sought to bring Paul Whelan home. As we have said before, the United States has put forward a serious proposal to Russia. Russia should take it. Bringing Paul home Home is important to the president. David Whelan says all they have left is hope. I think that's why we see some wrongful detainees attempt suicide when they're uh, in, uh, in detention or being held hostage. And fortunately, Paul hasn't gotten to that point. So we will try and keep him as mentally healthy and physically healthy as we can. Now, one of the main reasons Paul feels like his resilience is shaken is because of Evan Gershkovich. This is an American journalist who was detained by Russia. He is also being charged with espionage, and the family fears that his case will once again take priority over Whelan's. Uh, the U.S. government responded and say they do not have favoritism. So, of course, we will continue to follow this story. Live in Southfield, I'm Pierre. Hey, 7 Action News. Yeah, they may not have favoritism, but you can see how they would feel like Paul Whelan is being left behind. Kiara Hay, live for us this morning. Thank you, Kiara.